Uh, Tony Jones with us from The Athletic. You put a piece up a couple of days ago on uh, Donovan and how yep. Team USA is going to le- rely pretty heavily on him. He may not be the team leader. That's probably Kimball Walker, but he's certainly among them, and he might be the most important guy on both ends of the floor, right? Yeah. You know, he right now, first of all, right now, Team USA, outside of Kimball and Donovan, they, they really don't have a lot of guards. Um you know, there's, there's Joe Harris, there's Marcus Smart. So, you know, um, you know, Chris Middleton can slide up from from small forward to, to shooting guard. Um, but there's, there's really not a lot of guard play. So, um, I think Donovan's going to play a lot of minutes, and I, I'm talking a lot of minutes. And maybe that's to the chagrin of Jazz fans who who don't want to see him play a lot of minutes. But uh, he's definitely going to play a lot of minutes, and 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 he's probably you know, one of the one of the two or three best two way players uh on the roster as well. So he's going to to be counted on to 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 score a lot of points. He's gonna be counted counted on to generate offense um um in the in the general sense and he's gonna be counted on to, to defend as well. So um it it's gonna be interesting to see um how he handles the responsibility that's gonna be placed upon his shoulders. Uh, in, in the next three weeks to a month, but uh, he he's going to have that responsibility uh, because this team is going to need him to be at his best if they if they uh, have any hope of uh, getting the gold medal uh, in the World Cup in the World Cup. I was listening to a Windhorst on the Simmons podcast, and he said the GMs, everybody said that Donovan's kind of been the it guy this summer. You and I talked about it last week. He's a Popovich kind of a guy. He's got that DNA in him, and playing for Quinn Snyder for a couple of years doesn't hurt that either. But it, it sounds to me like he, he's not just helped his stock for, with Team USA and USA Basketball. He's helped his stock around the league. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, he's he's a guy that, you know, once you, you're, you're close uh, to him and, and see him in a close proximity, you see the kind of uh, intangibles that he brings. Um, you know, he, he's. I think his impact goes far beyond uh, the floor, um, and, and obviously he has a, a significant impact on the floor. Um, but you know, he's he's a terrific locker room guy. He blends in very very well uh, with his teammates. He's a terrific teammate, um, and, and he's he's just a guy that's just really. Um, he's he's mature beyond his years. Um, you don't talk to him and think, "Wow, you know, I'm talking to a 22 year old." You talk to him and you think that you're you're talking to a 30 year old veteran. Um, so he he's somebody uh, that I think is is kind of you know risen to the top really quick, really quickly in terms of Team USA, uh, in, in terms of what he's been able to bring on and off the floor. Uh, and, he, and he's somebody that I think you know, is is going to help the Jazz more than he's already helped the Jazz uh, down the line because guys are just going to – guys gravitate towards him and guys want to play with him. So um, it, it's going to be it, – it, it's it's been interesting to see uh, what he's been these these first three weeks of, of camp and as we head into to the exhibition season and, and se- the September 1st opener uh, for Team USA – um, but he's he's certainly kind of taken he, he's certainly kind of taken the 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 opportunity uh, to become one of the leaders of this team and 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 has taken advantage of it. Talking to Tony Jones from the Athletic, how much did De'Aaron Fox hurt himself by pulling out of Team USA? I know it was allegedly a business decision and things of that nature, but. Uh, I think they could have really used De'Aaron Fox on this team. Does pulling out late like this hurt him? Well, I think, you know, I I don't know how much it hurts him in the short term. Um, I don't think it'll win him a lot of friends when it, if he wants to make the Olympic team next 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 summer. Um, I don't know that whether he had pulled out or whether he had stuck through with the commitment, whether he would have made the Olympic team anyway. Um, I do know that it's kind of poor form to pull out that close, uh, this far along into the process and, and this close into – um, and this close into to going to Australia, I, I fully expected him to make the team um, and, and be the backup point guard. Um, I, I thought that, 
you know, he would have. He, he was killing it by all accounts. He he and yeah, Donovan he were the two young guys, and, and Jason Tatum that were apparently having great summers. Everybody knew what Kimba was, but uh, by all by all reports out of camp, he he was not only going to be the backup point guard, but he was going to play a big role with this team. Yeah, those reports were accurate. I mean, he was tremendous in Vegas. Um, guys could not stay in front of him, and once you know Kyle Lowry couldn't go because of the thumb injury. Um, I thought that you know the, the the popular thought was that cleared the way for 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 the Aaron Fox to to make the team, and you know he's still a tremendous talent, and he's still a guy um, that I think that will be in the Team USA pipeline uh, down the future. But I, I definitely think um, that he took some people off by by not uh, following through with the commitment and 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 pulling out so closely. Uh, to to when the team went to Australia, um, I thought that that and it's going to hurt because um, right now your backup point guard is Derek White and and I think De'Aaron Fox is quite a bit better than Derek White um, and it it puts a lot more stress on Kimball Walker, Kimball Walker and, uh, and and Donovan Mitchell. So I, I definitely think that uh, De'Aaron Fox's uh, decommitment is going to be impactful for Team USA. Before I let you go, um, expectation for how Team USA does here. Are they still the favorite even without much star power? Yeah, you know, it's it's it you know, I think I think they're the favorites, but it's really gonna be close because there are a number of really good teams out there. Like I think Serbia is gonna be good with with Tia Dosic and, and I, of course Nikola Jokic. Uh I think Australia obviously is gonna be pretty good. Uh, I think France is going to be good. Um, I even think Greece is going to be good with Giannis because they because they have Giannis and he's going to be the best player in in, in the field. Um, you know, Team USA has the most depth. Um, they probably still have the most uh, collection of talent. Uh, they're, they're still the, the only team with all NBA players. Um, they're the most athletic team in the field, and they're probably the best defensive team in the field. Um, but they're vulnerable. Um, you know, if they uh, get a silver medal or if they get a bronze medal in, in this tournament, it's not going to surprise me one bit. If they win it, it's not going to surprise me one bit. Um, you know, so I, I guess the best way to describe Team USA heading into the World Cup is their favorites, but you're no longer taking them against the field. I, I would take the field against them, uh, if you know what I mean. I do, and that's Tony Jones from The Athletic, presented by Budweiser. 